We've got Bowser versus Jigglypuff. The match of uh, I'm going to kill you off stage versus I'm going to kill you at 35. We got Dr. Boomer versus Jafafa. Ah, uh, Dr. Boomer. Okay, yeah. I actually, um, I've seen him before. I actually knew um, knew more about him when he was playing uh, Rob. But he also does have a, a pretty good Jigglypuff as well. Yeah, we do have Rob written down on our info sheet as the main of Dr. Boomer. But just fancy Jigglypuff for taking down this Belgian Bowser. So it's working. I, I can't complain. Kind of also a kill percent, but don't worry about yeah, that. But honestly, um, Jigglypuff nearly always is kind of like a kill percent. <laughs> like, there's <gasps> oh, oh, is he now a kill percent? <laughs> Got him. Love and that. And gets the star KO as well, so you can get away with that unscathed. Always got to love a bit of RNG to help you out. All right. Well, first off, going to uh, Dr. Boomer. And oh, unfortunate about the uh, jabs. He actually uh, did it the wrong way. I love how useful Jigglypuff's pound is. It wasn't designed to be a good move. <laughs> You're not meant to be able to parry that either. But it was just Jigglypuff was kind of like a joke character back in Smash 64. Ooh, okay, yes. armored, armored legs are going to go straight through. Like, they just gave her a silly punching move in Smash 64 that did, like, next to nothing, and it was a Pokemon move that does 40 damage in-universe. But it's just such a good lingering hitbox that breaks shields, and it's, like, a recovery tool as well. It's not meant to be this good, but it's so useful. It's really good. But honestly, uh, a lot of Jigglypuff's um, errors are uh, really, really good. Out of all and the special moves in the game, it's kind of, like, the least special. <laughs> it's just an attack, you know? Oh wow, actually but survived with that. Yeah, Love it. that's incredible DI. He's still back in the he's still uh, in the game, which is really good. Oh we got a uh, left -right, no wait, a left -right situation. And that's a trade really you will take every day of the week. But look how much it's evened out nevertheless. Dr. Boomer had a fantastic lead on stock too, but the F smash from Jafafa was I have no idea. Yefafa? I don't even know whether you're from the Dutch speaking part of Belgium or the French speaking part of Belgium. It could yeah. be either. Okay. That's Flemish speaking part of Belgium, you know, to be technical. At the moment, ooh, oh, it hits him with, ah, oh, okay, well, too, too bad. <laughs> that was so close, the Bowser down air actually popped him slightly higher into the air to avoid the sing, but the second one. And there one, it is, hit him up, okay. I think Yafafa, we'll just experiment with each. I think Yafafa had actually managed to avoid the sing, but then moved into it yeah. <laughs> and got put to sleep. Now Jigglypuff says, Z, 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 see you tomorrow. Feeling like a lot of the players here at uh, 11 a.m. Pools. If you're watching yeah. in the UK, it's 10 a.m., so thanks for tuning in. Yeah, seriously. Uh, it's uh, at the moment looking, uh, well, quite fun, actually, with this whole tournament. Um, we got some really interesting matchups. Uh, for example, like I have to be honest, like I don't really see Bowser versus Jigglypuff a lot of the times. Um, Jigglypuff also not necessarily like really a uh, super common character, um, but really fun to actually see um, characters like Jigglypuff, Me Sword Fighter, just randomly pop by. Some do, so some <laughs> maybe a bit less, but it's like nonetheless really fun to actually see that people are, um, you know, like they all play different characters and all just play characters that they obviously really like. And it's an interesting one, Jigglypuff versus Bowser, because Bowser's often so reliant on Flame Breath to just do 50%, but Jigs is one of the best characters for getting around it, because you can just jump once and your airspeed will Goodness cover the whole gracious. thing. And it will cover that entire combo. See you later at 96. Crazy, okay. Well, honestly, once again, I earlier said, like, Jigglypuff's aerials are, like, really good, and <laughs> triple <laughs> down it to the forward air. Jeff throw all that for 63 <laughs> by the way but it's still going Jigglypuff I think she deserves a bit more damage to be honest Dr. Boom is not letting up at all at the moment three stocks against one yeah. down it into oh is this gonna happen again okay no yeah the Bowser recovery was a little lazy as well like the way to get optimal height is to not press any buttons for the first half and then start mashing in the second half but that was just a single B press and it didn't go high enough. If you mash B all the way, it goes lower than it would have done if you del than if yeah. you delay the mash. It's such a weird recovery. The game doesn't even tell you how to use Bowser's up B properly to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, it's the same thing I think with, um, what's it called? Uh, Did you know that Ken's the... final smash does more damage if you mash it? The game doesn't tell you that oh, either. Okay. But like, specifically like the upward volcano-y thing. 
Okay, well, Apparently Dagger. you just needed to play Street Fighter and know that. Alrighty. It's uh, looking quite well for Dr. Boomer and... Oh, misses the back air. That could have just been a rest, Loki. <laughs> just with the up B in front of your face, just jump in oh. and get the KO. Risky read. You need to take a stock somehow. Uh, a side B will be enough. We don't need to go that adventurous. Okay, let's see. Oh, and there it is. Back air. Woo, super damage.